Okay, got an N64 joystick there, ripped out of a pad which I've put the Arduino inside, took the wires, put them in a the breadboard, wired them up to the Arduino, to Milia Nova, uh, USB link to the PC, and then on the PC I have a little graphical representation of the joystick itself so if I move it it changes the wires come out there that's the main problem the, the wire keeps coming out because it's hard to strip them okay I'll put that there it's very hard to do without two hands but essentially if I move the joystick like this then the, wire, then the line goes like that. If I let go, and the line goes back to normal. See, it's slightly off center actually, but that's just the values that are coming in here. I don't think you can read them, but it says 28 and 5. 28 is the um, y axis, and 5 is the x, so that's why it looks like that. And if I move the joystick again, say I move it to the right a bit here, and the wire. The line goes different there. I'll pull it back, goes back in there, press it down, like that. Goes mad over there. Oops. Still not perfect yet, I'm not, not quite sure what is happening with sometimes it goes weird but there's a definite reading coming out of everything here. Definitely working. First day of the Demillion over. Got this just today. And I've already got an N64 joypad linked up nicely. Thought it was worth putting on YouTube. Ah, that wire still comes out. If that wire comes out for a second, then the communication obviously is lost. No, the biggest problem is I don't have wire strippers, so I was doing it with my teeth. Hence why it's not ideal. And no solder and iron either. But that there should show you. The sort of thing you can do with the Arduino to build an over. And this is my new Acer Aspire 1, which I recommend highly. Also got a liquid wear screen here, which of course I'll link up and then the little joystick will control the game which will display on the screen.